Our Trash to Treasure series continues, and today it's all about your stuff. Our viewers sent me their junk, and you won't believe the gems we recycled and reinvented before your eyes. From Times Square, good afternoon, America, with Lara Spencer and Josh Elliott. We are continuing our new series. It's called Trash to Treasure. <laughs> and you know that giving vintage furniture a facelift is a passion of mine. Today, I'm going to take pieces sent in by you, our viewers. You asked me what we could do with these things. And um, I dare say we turned some junk into gems. Yes, we did. You will not believe the yes, transformation. Yes, we did. You should have seen what we did. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I rubbed my hands raw. Boy. <laughs> probably know by now yard selling is a passion of mine it's, it. it's really no. just about reinvention you learn new things about something repurposing recycling there's nothing I love to do more than finding a diamond in the rough and turning it into a one-of-a-kind interior design moment yes. shall we say and we shall today it's a new series trash to treasure began this yesterday great success today we're gonna show you how anything can be transformed and with just a few affordable easy steps a couple viewers today they had visions for their pieces, didn't exactly know where to begin, and so they turned to us for advice. Yeah, I love it. I love that you, our viewers, actually sent us tweets and Facebook pictures. Keep them coming. <laughs> Leela Strisky from Pennsylvania sent us this posting on Facebook. She said, Lara, I would love for you to transform this bench into a gem. My friend Kathy is going through a sad time in her life, and if you would perform your magic on it, it would give her a little something to smile about. And you know what, Leela Strisky, thank you for coming. It would be my pleasure to help you out. I mean, I want to point out, I, I would have thrown this, I would have burned this. I mean, I would have knocked this, this would have been firewood. It, it, kindling wood. Well, the funny thing is, it came, it, we believe that it's from about the 1880s. These are old floorboards oh, wow. that somebody turned into a bench long ago. And I'll tell you, Leela, I wasn't sure we could resuscitate it. It was in really bad shape. It was super rickety. Um, it would really hurt your bum because of all the, the splinters. Um, so we did a little bit of work on it. And one thing we discovered is that long, a long time ago, these boards were painted red. So I hope your friend enjoys her new bench. <laughs> Paint. Oh, Leela, you like it? Wow. <laughs> do you think your friend will like it? Yeah, I, th I do. I think she'll love it. That's amazing. So What's, we used what, what we used um, was a milk paint instead of a regular paint because these oh. were floorboards. There was so much wax on them, you couldn't paint them. But milk paint you could use. Wow. My tip, though, if you want to keep it in that country feel, that sort of shabby chic feel that I thought was so integral to this piece, is to water it down. They'll give you instructions for milk paint, and I love milk paint because it's really flat, and um, and so it gave it just so kind of this red wash wow. to bring it back to its former glory. I always recommend, too, when something's rickety, use glue and nails, not just nails. Glue is just an extra reinforcement. And, um, and then there was a piece missing, and I recommend trying to find as close a piece of wood as you can. We actually found a piece of another floor and um, cut it to try to match as close as we could. And, and I think it's going to sit down and make sure that yeah, come on. it's worthy of your friend. Can I yeah. one of those? <laughs> Took a little needle and thread to these pillows too. They were Thank you for that. And then finally, um, Josh, this is something that I found. This is a. Uh...